197 B.C. At Sinocephali in modern Greece, Philip V of Macedon leads 26,000 men against an upstart state from the Italian peninsula. The day of the battle is foggy and the battlefield uneven. At the heart of the Macedonian army is the square of pikemen, the phalanx, just as in Alexander's day, 130 years before. The Romans used smaller, more mobile units. The 14-foot spears of the Macedonian pikemen though deadly, meant they could only go in one direction, forward. As the two armies close at Sinocephali, the huge, tightly packed Macedonian phalanx struggled to maneuver in the fog and on the bumpy ground. The Roman army was not a phalanx army. It was a massed formation army, but one in which the members of the massed formations fought, as it were, individual duels against the enemy. Macedonian left flank crumbled. Seeing this, a Roman officer took 3,000 men and attacked them from behind. They were not, like men in a phalanx, all shoving together with their spears to create pressure against those on the other side. They were singling out an individual enemy and coming to hand blows with him, uh, which is an extremely dangerous way of making a living. The Romans exploited gaps in the phalanx. Once inside, they slashed and thrust with their short swords. have much sense of mercy for those who were running away. You pursued them and slaughtered them until they were done for. Eight thousand Macedonians were killed, five thousand taken prisoner. Sinocephali was the turning point for the upstarts from Rome. I served two years in the ranks of the army, which was taken across to Macedonia. I was promoted to centurion for my bravery. After the defeat of the Macedonians, I left immediately for Spain as a volunteer.